Welcome everybody. In this video, we're going to go through the introduction to processing electronic invoices. Topics we'll cover are collecting the invoice, previewing them, finally processing them, and then receiving them to stock to update product stock on hand. So first up, let's go into the menu and search for electronic invoicing. Here you are going to be presented with all the electronic invoices that are yet to be processed. It should be blank, but if you want to view all of the processed invoice previously, you can just remove the filter and you'll see all of the electronic invoices that have ever been processed into your system. And you've got the standard search options that you have throughout the smart grids. If you want to have a look at an invoice, you can just click the I to preview. That's all you can do with a, a processed invoice, but you do have the ability to go and find a, a previous invoice that you may have already applied. So in our case, what we'll do is we'll just close and reopen electronic invoicing to return to our unprocessed filter. And to collect the invoices, we use options and then collect invoices select which target that you want to collect invoices for. Normally you'll only have one. And this will log a job to the queue and collect the invoices from that supplier. So after the invoices are collected, they'll appear in the list as unprocessed. So for each invoice collected, the system's automatically going to try to use the warehouse order number to try to match it to an existing sent purchase order that you may have still outstanding to be received. If it can't find the original order, the default action, what it's going to do is try to create a new order so that invoice or that stock can be received. So as you can see in my example, the default action is to create order because all of the invoices couldn't be matched to an existing purchase order. So that being said, there's a couple of options here. Again, we can preview the invoice as before and again, have a look at the invoiced and out of stocked products. Other than previewing the invoice, we can also choose how we want to process this invoice. If we hit this little down arrow, we can choose to ignore it. Maybe we don't know how to deal with this invoice, so we can deal with it later by just choosing ignore. Or again, we can choose to create order if that's what we want to do. You also have the option to associate. So maybe the system couldn't automatically assign that invoice to an order, but here you can choose from the list of existing orders from that same supplier and try to match that invoice to that supplier or that order. So the trick now is once you have received all of the invoices to actually make sure that you're happy with how the invoices are going to be handled in the system. So electronic invoices with the original order number will be matched automatically to an existing purchase order if it can find that order. If it can't find the original order, the default action will be to create a new order. So at this point, you need to make the decision, do we want a new order or can we manually assign that invoice to an existing order using that associate button? If you don't want the invoice at all, you can just choose to delete that invoice or you can choose to ignore it and handle it later. So when you're happy with how the system's going to handle those electronic invoices, the next step is to process them. Now there are two options. You can choose to process an individual invoice by just using the tick action and that will apply just that one single invoice to the system. The other way to process invoices is to now choose to process all of the outstanding invoices. So we do that from the options menu and this will log a job now to process all of those outstanding invoices. Depending on the number of invoices that might take a little time but when it's the list is clear that's when you can go on to do the next task. So after the invoices are processed, we need to receive those orders to stock. So if we go into order receipts, 
here you'll see all of the invoices that are ready to be processed and ready to be received to stock. Invoices will have a status of dispatched, um, and there you can see sort of by descending created date, there are my invoices that I just, just processed. So to receive it to stock, we click on it and then hit the receive button. This will then give us a option selection where we can choose to update Quanti on hand, etc. We just hit save to receive that invoice to stock. So that invoice has been received. Just wait for it to finish. When we close, it will be removed from that list. So all that's left is to repeat that process for all of the remaining invoices that can be received to stock.